So, uh, the waiter came with a with a basket full of pictures. Pictures were not in the seizure, and they were very means uh, actually the writer wants to describe the picture. So, what uh, is he writing? He's writing that they had the blush of an innocent girl. Means, uh, so fresh. They had the rich tone of an Italian landscape. Very beautiful. But surely, pictures were not in season then. But surely, pictures were not in season then. By that time, it was not a season of pictures. So, he wondered what may be the rate of these pictures. And he is telling that. Uh, so, first he is telling, Lord knew what they cost. I knew to a little letter. For my guest, going on with her conversation, absent mindedly took one. Means, Donna, uh, the lady took one uh, picture from the basket. So he is telling that later on, he also knew the cost of the picture. Next, whose turn was to read? After part, who was there? Uh, after part, it is Shruti. Ma'am, Satvik. Satvik. Ma'am, you said part was Satvik. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, Satvik is start. Then Shruti will start. You see, you have uh, filled your stomach with a lot of meat. My one miserable little chop and you can't uh, eat my more. But I have just had a snack and I shall enjoy a peach. The bill came and when I paid it, I found that I had only enough for a quite indicate tip. Her eyes rested for an instant on the three francs. I felt for left for the waiter and I knew that she how she mean. But when I walked out of the restaurant, I had the whole month before me and not a, a penny in my pocket. Uh, so follow we... my uh, wait, wait. so what is it you see you have filled your stomach with a lot of meat my one uh, one miserable little chop and you can't eat any more but I have just had a snack and I shall enjoy a pig so what is she telling now uh, he, uh, she is telling, see, once again, taking the letter to the task that uh, she had, uh, he had uh, ruined his palate. He has ruined his taste. He cannot eat anything because he has eaten mutton chop. So he cannot afford to eat anything else now. The bill came. When I paid, Paid it. I found that I had only enough for a quite inadequate, inadequate tip. Her eyes rested for an instant on the three francs I left for the waiter, and I knew that she thought me mean. Also, can anyone tell me what was the bill? No one. No one will try. No one will try. What was the bell?
I had had I have had my ribbon at last. Today she weighs twenty one stone. What is the meaning of twenty one stone? Uh, twenty one stone is one. Ma'am, one a a stone weights approx six point three five kg. It means she is now one thirty three point three five kg. Yeah. So uh, he is happy after twenty years they met. Uh, and now she is a uh, a uh, very fat. He is, uh, and he is. He felt very happy. Why did he feel happy? Can anyone tell me? वो happy क्यों feel कर रहा था? क्योंकि वो बहुत दिनों से चाह रही थी कि वो उतना weight अपना gain करे. उसका एक aim था वैसा. No, now the. मैम क्योंकि मैम क्योंकि उसका एक रिवेंज था हाँ, 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 एक एक हाँ, सर क्लास के बाद बात करें क्लास सो एक्चुअली द राइटर मस्ट हैव वेरी टफ टाइम राइटर का टाइम बहुत टफ रहा होगा बहुत मुश्किल टाइम रहा होगा राइटर के लिए राइटर के लिए होल मंथ बहुत मुश्किल रहा होगा ना बिकॉज हैनी मनी इन हिज पॉकेट एंड ही हैड होल मंथ सो नाउ ही इज फीलिंग दैट माई रिटर्न इज ओवर मीन्स हिज रिटर्न इज ओवर जितना उसने जितना उसने मेहनत जितना उसने स्ट्रगल किया फॉर द होल मंथ ही नाउ ही इज थिंकिंग दैट नाउ हिज रिटर्न इज ओवर बिकॉज द लेडी वेज ट्वेंटी वन स्टोन इतनी मोटी हो गई तो इसके बाद जितना उसने उस दिन जबरदस्ती खाना खाया और जितना उसने राइटर को ह्यूमिलिएट किया मटन चौप खाने पे जितना जितना उसने रिमार्क्स पास किए जितना सजेशन दिए वो सारा पूरा हुआ बिकॉज राइटर वॉज नॉट फैट एंड द लेडी वॉज सो फैट ओके सो आई थिंक यू पीपल अंडरस्टूड द स्टोरी यस मैम यस मैम एनी वन एनी डाउट गेली का मतलब क्या होता है गेली मीनिंग ऑफ गेली विल एनी वन ट्राई इट वॉज रिटर्न गेली जी ए आई वॉट इज एल वाई जी ए आई एल वाई मैम सुखपूर्वक मैम मैम चेयरफुल मैम प्रसन्नता से आनंद चेयरफुली और यू कैन से मेरी हैप्पीली दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ गेल शी वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग हां शी वाज एंजॉयिंग एंड द राइटर वाज थिंकिंग अबाउट द बिल He was not enjoying at all. Was he enjoying? Okay. Now we will uh, discuss question answer. Yes, ma'am. Um, oh, ma'am, ma'am, I have a question. Ah. Hey, what is your question? Uh, ma'am, what is the meaning of absent when deadly? Absent mindedly, जैसे कभी कभी बिना कुछ सोचे हम लोग कुछ काम कर लेते हैं जैसे तुम्हारे तुम्हारे फ्रेंड ने जैसे तुम्हारे फ्रेंड ने लंच खोला आप तुम्हारे फ्रेंड ने लंच खोला एंड यू लाइक 
सपोज दैट मैं लंच में उसने चाउमिन लाया है या मोमोज आया समथिंग वेरी मैं आई है दैट यू लाइक एंड यू विदाउट थिंकिंग यू टेक वन दैट इज एब्सेंट माइंडेडली मैंने सोचा नहीं था फिर भी आप अनचाहे में हो गया दैट इज नोन एज एब्सेंट जब हम लोग कोई काम करते हैं तो हम लोग अपना दिमाग को स्थिर रख के सोच के काम करते हैं ऐसा हम लोगों का एक्सपेक्टेशन होता है या लोगों का ही तरह से बैठ एक्सपेक्टेशन होता है बट समाइम्स हम लोग बिना कुछ सोचे समझे कुछ कर लेते हैं दैट इज नोन एज एक्सेंट माइंड हर आदमी करता है कभी ना कभी Okay, now your question is over. Maybe switch over. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Still, Shruti is uh, not there, na? Okay. No, ma'am. Okay. So, understanding this story, take the correct answers from the option. Yes, ma'am. Did I remember? The narrator means that he didn't remember. He couldn't forget. Ma'am. He could he not forget. Forget. Ah, he, he, could he, not could forget. Ah, he will Two. not forget. He could not forget. Ah, he will not forget. Two. Forget. A second. Two. The narrator is by profession. A writer. Ma'am, a writer. Ma'am, a writer. Yes. Or ah, uh, yes, ma'am, a writer. By profession. Tell me some writer. Nay, nay. No, no, a writer. Better is not in the uh, option also. He had never been to Paris before because, ma'am, it was it very was expensive. It was very expensive. Ah, it was very. Second, expensive. it was very ex he expensive. He didn't order champagne for himself because he couldn't not afford it. He could not yeah. afford it. Yes. Three. Afford yes, ma'am. He could not afford it, ma'am. He could not afford it. Ah, he Fourth, cup third. He could not afford it. He didn't give an adequate tip to the waiter because, ma'am, he, he had, had not no more, more money. money. He, he had, had no more money. Ah, he had no more money. Money. Ah, he had no more money. Okay, now give yes, two pictures of evidence. From this story to justify each of the following statements, the narrator was still a struggling life writer. He he was living in a tiny apartment in Latin Quarter. He was earning money, you know, to keep keep his body and soul together. And please repeat a ka five. Ah, oh, ma'am. Ah, uh, a ka five ka three. He had no more money. A ka five ka three. Ah. A five. He had no more money. Okay. Next. Ma'am, may I answer B one? Ma'am, question. We can read. Can we? Ah, yes, you can. The narrator Second. Second. He was a writer. You are supposed to justify the statement from two pieces of evidence. Give, give two pieces of evidence from the story earning. to justify each other following statement. Second, the probability said yes to the woman's yes, proposal yes, yes. for lunch. Wait, wait, wait. First, we will okay. discuss the question number one. Then, ma'am, one question. Yes, ma'am. We are supposed to write, uh, give two evidences. First, will be ma'am. First point. Ma'am, first point. He was earning, earning enough, money. enough money to keep my body and soul together. Second, okay. second. He probably said yes he to the proposal for lunch at class of four. Ma'am, he was. Ma'am, question number two. He had eighty friends. Yes, eight last. four. One more point. Ma'am, A four. He had eighty friends. B ka two. The rest of B ka two. B ka two. Ah, it was so. He had. 
it was ma'am he was too young to have it. learned to ma'am he was too young to have learned to stay say it no to a woman uh, he felt highly flattered okay so question number ma'am he had alisan question number 1 i had uh, sir ha i was earning barely enough money to keep my body and soul together point number 1 point number 2 uh, it was so far beyond my means that i had never even thought of going there agar uske paas zyada paisa hota to wo kabhi mat aisi baatein to uske dimag mein nahi aati na ki main soch hi nahi sakta floors jaise restaurant mein jaane ka so first one answer second one i was flattered second one ka ek point i was flattered and another i was too young to have learned to say no to a no to a woman okay ma'am no to a woman uh, yes now uh, question number 3 e the woman did not approve e, of the narrator choice of eating meat so many it may overload her it may overload her stomach she did it was unwise to eat meat yes it was unwise to eat meat or you have you ma'am he ordered ek to yahan ho gaya na you are unwise to eat meat second you have you you have ruined your heart in the practice you ruin your palate by all the meat you eat two points we have discussed yes ma'am okay next of b4 the narrator planned ways to face a bill beyond his means answer Ma'am, first point: It would be mortifying to find myself ten francs short and be ob obliged to borrow from my guest. Second point: I made up my mind that I would put my hand in my pocket and, with a dramatic cry, start up saying, "It had been taken." Ah. So the narrator planned ways to face a bill beyond his means. So the point number one. Ah, uh, he would uh, put his hand in the pocket and with a dramatic cry start ah uh, start saying that his pocket had been filled. Another, if the lady also didn't have enough money to pay the bill, he would keep his watch and watch as a loan uh, and, and come pay. and pay the bill. Yeah. And later came and pay the bill. Ha. So uh, two points over. Next question number five. B B five. The aggressors were tempting and difficult to resist. And he had seen asparagus in the shop. His mouth had often watered at its sight. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ma'am, I I had seen them in the shop, and I knew that they are very horribly expensive. My mouth yeah. had often watered at sight of them. Second point, I am not in the last hungry. My guest, but he insists I don't mind having some extra. Yeah. So so many points are there. Yes, ma'am. First, uh, uh, what happened? Next, uh, ma'am. The narrator was. The fifth, uh, B six. The narrator was shocked to see the head waiter carry a basket full of peaches. Yeah. And so the narrator point, said that a terrible thing had happened. Peaches were not uh, in season. Ma'am, first, and they had the rich tone of an Italian landscape, but surely peaches were not in season. The Lord knew the cause. And ma'am, second point, I knew to a little later for my guest. Going on with her conversation, absent-mindedly looked 
took one and you can't eat anymore but i have just had a snack i shall enjoy it so many points are there so we can uh, uh, write for point number 1 a terrible thing happened head waiter came with a basket full of peaches peaches uh, second thing lord knew what they cost yes ma'am now question number c answer the following questions in about 40 words each how did the you see how did the woman know the narrator why did she want to meet him to meet him to have a chat the, She, the, the woman, woman read the book of the writer she knew him as a writer as uh, she was passing through paris so she wanted to meet him uh, yes uh, the, the woman, woman the woman, the woman knew, knew the writer by reading because she read a book written by him him narrator, written by the narrator the narrator also wrote thanking her in this way they knew each other chatted with us she wanted to meet the narrator because she was passing through paris and she had few hours uh, to, to meet with to him spend with him or you can just write that she was passing the uh, she was passing through paris what impression did the narrator uh, narrator gather of the woman when he met her The woman said to have a lunch with the woman. Not the narrator gathered the following impression when he met her. The narrator gathered the following impression when he met her. The lady was featured. He, her appearance was imposing rather than attractive. The woman said to have a lunch at Coyote. Coyote is a very expensive hotel where French tenants. Women think the woman is far beyond the narrator was very humorous. Uh, so, the how uh, what impression did the narrator gather of the woman when he met her? Uh, the impression and the, the impression gathered uh, narrated is uh, the woman is uh, this is uh, a minute the impression that the narrator gathered of the woman when he met her was and the narrator was, gathered the following impression when he met her the lady was very talkative in nature her appearance was imposing rather than attractive Imposing rather than attractive. Yes, she was a uh, talkative. So these were the impressions. Why was the narrator panic-stricken while they were waiting for the asparagus to be cooked? The narrator was panicked because he had not enough money to pay at the hotel. He had ten francs short, and to be obliged to borrow from his guest, he knew exactly how much money he had, and if the bill came to more, he made up his mind that he would put his hand in his pocket and, with a dramatic crash, start up say and say, "Pocket had been picked." Aha! Yes. Why the narrator was Right. panic stricken will they were waiting for the asparagus to be served he was calculating whether he could be able to pay off the bill after that yeah the narrator was panic stricken while they were waiting for the asparagus to be cooked because the narrator was thinking about the bill only it was now it was not a matter that how much For the rest of the money. Now, it was the question whether he would be able to pay the bill or not. अब ये बात तो रही गई नहीं थी ना कि कितना मनी वो पूरे मंथ के लिए बचा पाएगा. अब एक वहाँ पे तो ये बात थी कि whether he would be able to pay the bill. जितना पैसा उसके पास है, उससे वो बिल को पे कर पाएगा कि नहीं बात. So he was panic stricken. for that
Uh, next question. Why did the narrator order coffee for himself also? The narrator, the narrator, the narrator ordered, ordered coffee, coffee for, for himself, himself also because, because he did he not eat in lunch and what a lady had only a cup of coffee also he was now not caring for money. Uh, the narrator ordered coffee for himself if there is no problem, you can take video on the Yes, ma'am. Good. Now it's, uh, it looks good. Face-to-face -face interaction is better. Hota hai na? The narrator ordered coffee for himself because he was fast caring now. So he ordered coffee for himself and an ice cream and coffee for that woman. Good. The narrator ordered coffee for himself also because he did not eat till lunch and but uh, had only a cup of coffee. Also, he was not uh, now not caring for money. Good. So, uh, the narrator ordered coffee for himself also because he had, he had stopped caring about the bill. He had made up his mind how to pay the bill. Bill. Ab usne mind mein kab kar liya tha ki bill ko kaise pay karna. So he also ordered coffee for himself. Ab ye baat to thi nahi ki pure mahine ke liye kitna paisa bachana hai. So he also thought of enjoying the time, the moment. So he ordered coffee for himself. What is the waiter's contribution in allowing the woman to have a joyous meal? The writer's contribution in allowing the woman to have the a writer allows her to eat delicious meals. See, it's a spark of cell. Man, yeah, Aditya and Sathvik both are talking together. So, first, let Aditya speak the answer, then Sathvik will. And what are the other students doing? Only three students are we three are there. Rest of the students they, they became passive. Where are the rest of the students? Ma'am, sir, join karke chhod de sir. Parth, Parth, can you keep your video on? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, kare? Abhi, ab video on kar lo pehle. Aur kuch nahi. Ha. So Parth, will you answer the question? Ma'am, kaun sa kuch? 